guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me in my video today. I really appreciate it as always. I'm really sorry I haven't been around much over the last couple of weeks. I've been really, really ill, in and out of hospital, um, but I'm, be I'm better, I'm back, I'm happy. <laughs> so yes, I'm really, really sorry, but I will be picking up my videos back from this weekend. So please just, Thanks for sticking with me and thanks for enjoying it. So in this video, as it's titled, and you can see from the thumbnail, I am testing out the Samaritz Darker Than Dark One Hour Fast Tan. Um, I have seen this obviously advertised in quite a few places, um, Superdrug, Boots, I think it's in Boots, um, but I've also seen like the fails that have been on Daily Mail as well. Um, to be honest, I really wouldn't believe the stuff that you read on the Daily Mail in general, um, especially the articles about this, um, people have been posting pictures of them being absolutely dark, dark and green. Um, I didn't turn green, I did go exceptionally dark as you'll see in the video, but that's just because it's a dark tan, they haven't washed it off their skin so that's why they look so dark. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really like this tan, I really rate this tan. Um, the bad points for me, not necessarily bad points, but I felt like even after an hour I was still quite tacky in places. I could still feel that it wasn't quite dry. Um, the transfer on other materials was quite bad as well, um, although I did leave it on for an hour, so I couldn't comment on the bed sheets, whether it stains the bed sheets, um, but the tops I was wearing and if I brushed past anything, um, I would got a bit of tan on there. I did put like my top for example in the wash, um, you'll see the top I was wearing and I think I explained that in the video, it's been two days ago so I can't really remember, um, I put it in the wash straight away and it's come out no problem so I think if you get it on your clothes get it in the wash straight away, out no problem. I love it so I kept it on for an hour again as you'll see in the video and it's actually given me a really nice subtle tan and I'm just absolutely loving it. It is Sunday and I filmed the footage on Friday so I've obviously had a couple of showers since, had a bit of a scrub and yeah it is such a nice colour. I'm not sure how well the lighting from the window, it's a really sunny day, but how well the lighting can pick up this tan but I'm actually really really happy with it. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I'm not being endorsed or sponsored by Samaritz at all, this is just my personal opinion but I definitely really like this tan and it's definitely another great one from Samaritz. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling and let you watch the video. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom and I've got the Darker Than Dark by Samaritz. One hour fast tan. I'm just going to apply it with my meat. Um, what I'm also going to do is, I also have, if you see my other video, the Ultra Dark Tan as well. And you saw my epic fail with this one. So what I'm going to do with this and this is I'm going to pop this shade on one leg and this shade on the other leg just to kind of do a comparison of which is darker but then this one is going to be obviously the rest of my body and my face I don't really get my legs out especially when it's hot so I'm not really bothered if they're different colours so um, but this is ultra dark and this is darker than dark so I can't really see them being too much of a change of colour but um, yeah so anyway let's crack on with tanning. I've not actually um, used this before, I've used obviously the other ones before but I've not actually used this one before so this is the first time to use it. I've seen pictures of what's happened with people who have used it and they've turned either green or bright, literally orange and awful but um, yeah so let's see what this looks like. Usual Samarit smell, just making sure, yeah, I am using the darker than dark, getting confused with the other one, even though the box is totally different. Oh, I didn't even put a hairband in. Okay, I've got a mirror behind, so I'm kind of like, let's see. Ooh. It says on the bottle that it's a one hour instant fast tan. So what I'm going to do is, I'll leave it on for an hour, like the um, Bondi Sands one that I did. I really don't want to get it on my top. Um, yeah, so like the Bondi Sands one that I did that said it was an hour, which it wasn't. I want to see if this is kind of any better. Okay, it's meant to be dark, but it doesn't make me look green at the moment. And it's tolerable actually, it's not that bad. Sorry, I know it's really echoing in here, but I haven't really got any other choice. I'm trying to do my tanning video. Oof. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, it's orange. Mm -hmm. I love a good tan. I've been having a good tan. I've been so ill for so long. I actually haven't had a proper good tan in so long. It feels so good. If you're tan if you're a tannin addict like me, then yeah, you'll understand. Alright, okay. This isn't actually tolerable at all. It makes my teeth look like I've had a Hollywood smile. Oh, they're that bright. Dry patch right there that obviously the tang tang. The tan always clings to. Whoa, but this makes my teeth look so white. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um. It's dark. Maybe I should have started with my arms first. It now kind of makes me look. Can you see? <laughs> oh, look at the colour difference! Seriously, look at that! This is, yeah, this is pretty much, this is natural. This is 100% pure white Charlotte. <laughs> okay! I do it for you, honestly, you guys. I do it for you. I do it for you guys, honestly. I love doing it for you guys, though, so I'm not complaining in the slightest. I love you guys, and I love doing YouTube. It's so much fun. Oh, no, it's all on my palms, oh, dear. All right, make sure it's all in the crack cracks and crevices of my knuckles. Gosh, I've never, ever, I can't remember exactly what the ultra dark was like, but wow. Whoa, this is D-A-R-K with a capital D-A-R-K. Okay, Whew. look at that for a comparison. My face, I keep looking at it in the mirror, it looks just absolutely hysterical. But yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tan the rest of my body until I get to my legs. And then what I'll do is I'll come back, obviously I've got my little shorts on, I will come back and do the comparison of the ultra dark and the darker than dark. So I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so I am completely covered in the tan, the darker than dark. Um, obviously I haven't done my legs yet and it is um, a totally different colour. <laughs> so what I'll do now for you, I had to change my other top. I quite like the other top and it was a stupid, stupid colour to wear while I was trying to do this. So I had to throw it in the wash quick because I got it all over it. Um, but this one, it's got tan on it already, but I'm really not that bothered if it gets sort of tan or whatever. Um, so yeah, first impressions, I mean it is dark, don't get me wrong. If you're prepared for that, you'll be absolutely fine with it. And I love a dark tan as much as the next person. So for me, I'm really happy so far. It actually glides on so nicely. And normally, I do about four pumps for my arm, maybe three to four pumps. Um, so I was using three to four pumps with that and actually it was way too much. I managed to do the whole of this arm, my chest area and onto my stomach with four pumps. So a little does go a long way. So kind of use it sparingly as well and you can always, always just top up and add a little bit more as and when necessary. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the ultra dark on my left leg, which is probably going to come out to your right possibly. Left, yeah, my left leg, and then the dark and the dark on my right leg, and we will see kind of where we go from there. I've lost my mitt. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on with the dark and the dark for the right leg. So I've done four pumps. Again, it's that typical semeric smell. It doesn't really, I don't know, it smells a bit chemically, but it doesn't smell too bad. So again, like I've done four pumps, and it goes like really quite far. 
yeah, it goes a really long way. So yeah, use it sparingly and you'll be absolutely fine. Don't forget to get my feet. I have the world's ugliest legs, so please don't judge me. I am just doing this to show you guys. Okay, so dark and dark on this leg. Now for the ultra dark. Ultra dark. So I've done four pumps of that, as you can see. So this one smells a lot nicer than the other one, the darker than dark. This one kind of smells a little bit shampoo-y, even though I can't tell you which shampoo it kind of smells like, but it is, it's a nicer smell than the darker than dark anyway. Yeah, so again, four pumps of that one did my whole leg as well, so that again is still quite sparing and a little goes a long way. Um, colour wise, I wouldn't say there was a huge difference in colour in either of them. I mean, they both pretty much look the same. Um, my face, I can't get over my face. Um, so yeah, I definitely wouldn't say there was too much of a difference with the colours on the legs. Let me put you back up again. Um, but when I, it comes to washing it all off, I wonder if there'll be a slight difference. Um, this is an Instagram tanning mousse. How long did I leave this on for last time? I'll have to check how long I left this on for. I can't remember if it was an hour. Could have been. I'm not too sure. I don't think I left it on. Oh, no, I did leave it on overnight. Sorry, scrap all that. I did leave it on overnight. Um, so, yeah, yeah. So, we'll see what this looks like after an hour compared to this one, which is the one hour fast tan. So, you shall see. Okay, so I'm looking at the time and it is a quarter to seven. You can see that? Yeah, so it's quarter to seven. So what I'm gonna do at about quarter to eight, I will check back in with you to see what it looks like after an hour. I will get in the shower. You can go away for a little five minutes while I have my shower. And then we'll see what it looks like after that. Okay guys, so looking at it now, it's been an hour, so it is now quarter to eight. Um, yeah, it still feels like tacky in places, so like my arms here, um, the backs of my knees, um, my head like here, I'm just like, it feels like, you know, when you've got a face mask on, you're like, you've got to take it off now, that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, I wouldn't say that the other leg was any kind of other different colour to the other leg, so I think that... Going by application on the skin before washing it off, there is no colour difference between the ultra dark and darker than dark. Um, it's all kind of pretty much the same to be honest. Um, it doesn't really look any different to me, but we'll see what it looks like once it's all washed off. Um, I mean, yeah, it is dark, dark, dark. I will see what it looks like once I've washed it all off. I mean, it's that usual fake tan smell and it is still really like, I've, I've just been sat like on a dirty old blanket, I've not a dirty blanket, but like a blanket that I don't mind getting dirty or like if Tanner's poorly or something, I let him lay on that on the floor instead. Um, yeah, that's what I've been laying on because I think if I sit on my crush velvet sofas, it's going to go all over it. I mean, it's all over this top as it is. So yeah, transfer wise, I think it's definitely going to transfer. I even wouldn't risk it on white sheets. So yeah, definitely transfers off the skin. Um, it still feels tacky even after an hour, like I said, in all the creases and the kind of sweaty areas. So yeah, let's wash this off and see what it looks like after an hour. Okay, so I've washed it all off now. I'm obviously a completely different colour to a couple of seconds ago. And I wouldn't exactly say it's gone dark, dark after an hour, but I've definitely got a nice kind of tint. Um, certainly a lot more than what the Bondi Sands gave me after an hour. Um, if you kept it on overnight, you would definitely, definitely have a dark tan by the morning, I can guarantee. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. It's a nice sort of natural looking tan, whether it will gradually increase overnight, because I know that some of their tans actively work overnight once it's washed off. Oh, sorry, not overnight, but once it's washed off, it gradually increases. Um, but yeah, not too bad at all, to be honest. I'm relatively pleased. It's a nice, natural look. 
yeah, I'm happy, it's nice natural. So, yeah, that is that. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. It honestly does mean so much to me. Um, it's nice that I'm getting requests and things as well now. Um, I did have a request for this video and it's in my comments and thank you so much. It means so much to me. It's so nice to actually be getting requests now. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. You know what to do. Go and subscribe, like this video and I'll see you in my next one.